All right, thanks so much, Ross. And now back to that breaking news we're covering this afternoon. The strike is on in full force. Columbus teachers are picketing at schools across the city, from West Broad to Burroughs to Wineland Park to Columbus downtown. This is after the union and the school board could not come to an agreement on a contract. Thanks so much for being with us for 10 TV News at noon. I'm Brittany Bailey in for Tracy Townsend. The CEA strike went into effect at midnight and within the past few hours we heard from both educators and the district. 10 TV's Bennett Haverly joins us now live outside district headquarters with a breakdown of the main sticking points here. Bennett. Uh, good afternoon, Brittany. Columbus Board President Jennifer Adair called that decision by the teachers union to go on strike disappointing. She said in the board's final offer to the Columbus Education Association, the teachers union, they felt like they addressed all of the concerns, including pay and benefits. But if it's, it's a different story, though, when you talk to the educators themselves, who, as you mentioned, were on the picket lines this morning at schools across the district. While well, the board says it has addressed these issues that the teachers brought to them, the teachers say they want the district to commit to, on paper, fixing the conditions inside CCS schools. And while there have been investments in terms of HVA systems in at least 13 schools, as many as 16 planned over the next year. Well, the teachers say some of the classes, some of those schools still have issues with that. Ten Investigates own reporting uncovered ongoing issues inside city schools from missing and leaking ceiling tiles to lead based paint that was chipping and peeling to other issues that health inspectors have flagged just within the past few months. The district acknowledges the issues and says there is a plan in place to fix them. But we found there have been delays in fixing many of these problems. Now you're about to hear from a teachers union representative Regina Fuentes and then board president Jennifer Adair. What the Columbus Board of Education is not saying is that they don't want to be held accountable to fix the schools that Columbus students deserve. To fix the problem, we have to be able to step up together and say we are going to support uh, these kind of efforts and the board feels like we have systemic uh, solutions uh, to these problems. So it sounds like you don't think that belongs inside it. the contract. That's more of a measure of a ballot referendum or, or financial issues, correct? Correct. Now, both sides said that they are still willing to negotiate. They blame the other side for, quote, walking away. The school board has a special meeting planned tonight for 8 p.m. The teachers plan a rally at around seven. By the way, they were asked about, the board president was asked about what are families supposed to do and are they required to attend online learning? The district says the attendance policy is still in place. Reporting live downtown, I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haberly, 10 TV News. Bennett, thanks so much. So what does this mean for the first day of school? As we've reported, remote learning starts Wednesday with full time substitutes leading those classes. Attendance, as Bennett just mentioned, is required. CCS will send information to parents about this. Some back to back school events are still happening, but extracurricular activities will be rescheduled or maybe even canceled. CCS leaders say to check your parent portal, the school website or social media to find out what events are canceled or still happening. Of course, we know you have questions about this strike and we are working to get you answers starting tonight at five right here on 10 TV. We're asking how this will impact you and your child from sports to child care. And you can follow along with our coverage on air and look to our website, Facebook and Twitter pages for more updates as this story develops.